This is mono. The world is too huge to grasp. Matthew Dickman. The world is too huge to grasp. Still, Tiger, there's no reason not to tie your wife up if that's what she's been dreaming about in traffic. No reason not to go out and eat 20 donuts if that's what you want instead of granola. Because whether you like it or not, it's a skeleton you're wearing under those Italian jeans. For my part, I'm going to watch hours of television wearing nothing but a pair of running shoes. I'm going to walk out into the yard and begin courting the rose bushes. I'm not going to let a little thing like the world stand in my way. Why should I? I understand it as much as I understand penguins and I still go to the zoo. I still watch them swimming underwater. It's like watching really beautiful gods moving within a universe that other taller gods built for them out of compassion and ingenuity. It would be easy to sit at the bar smoking, drinking, ruminating about the why of penguins, pulling our hair out, crying into our gin about how the penguins have forsaken us, how nature is having another party and we're not invited. I like the world in all its incredible forms. When I've had the shit beat out of me, my friends who have died their violent and accidental deaths, falling from windows, swerving into the lights of traffic, my suffering, my unearned joy, my hand reaching up through the yards of fabric that made your dress, the midnight movies, all the kids huffing all the paint thinners, the comedy of the poor and the ruthlessness of the rich, how we're too hungry to fight, too crushed by debt and the psycho promise of there's always tomorrow, of rent to own, the smell of carrots, the smell of gasoline, the mysteries of bread and wine, the sky in Montana with Laura beneath it, the sky in Portland when my brother was buried in his little tin of ash, the happiness of love and the pity of sex, the bathroom stalls, the fruit markets, Rob proposing on one knee wearing a panda costume, sweating inside the fake fur, his bride in love. The quarterback's son, paralyzed from the neck down and then gone. The fear and fetish of genitals. The way we beat ourselves into our suits and high heels. I see how we are with each other. I see how we act. It's not the world with its ten zillion things we should be grasping, but the sincerity of penguins, the mess we made of the roses. Slow dance, Matthew Dickman. More than putting another man on the moon, more than a New Year's resolution of yogurt and yoga. We need the opportunity to dance with really exquisite strangers. A slow dance between the couch and dining room table at the end of the party, 
while the person we love has gone to bring the car around because it's begun to rain and would break their heart if any part of us got wet. A slow dance to bring the evening home. Two people rocking back and forth like a buoy. Nothing extravagant, a little music, an empty bottle of whiskey. It's a little like cheating. Your head resting on his shoulder. Your breath moving up his neck. Your hands along her spine. Her hips unfolding like a cotton napkin. And you begin to think about how all the stars in the sky are dead. The my body is talking to your body, slow dance. The unchained melody, stairway to heaven, power chord, slow dance. All my life I've made mistakes, small and cruel. I made my plans, I never arrived. I ate my food, I drank my wine. The slow dance doesn't care. It's all kindness, like children before they turn three. Like being held in the arms of my brother. The slow dance of siblings. Two men in the middle of the room. When I dance with him. One of my great loves. He is absolutely human. And when he turns to dip me or I step on his foot because we are both leading, I know that one of us will die first and the other will suffer. The slow dance of what's to come and the slow dance of insomnia pouring across the floor like bath water. When the woman I'm sleeping with stands naked in the bathroom brushing her teeth, the slow dance of ritual is being spit into the sink. There is no one to save us because there is no need to be saved. I've hurt you. I've loved you. I've mowed the front yard. When the stranger wearing a sheer white dress covered in a million beads slinks toward me like an oversexed chandelier suddenly come to life. I take her hand in mine. I spin her out and I bring her in. This is the almond grove in the dark slow dance. It is what we should be doing right now. Scraping for joy. The haiku and honey. The orange and orangutan slow dance.